All right, YouTube, here's the new project going on. So, had a TDO 413T on the rocket for quite a while. It worked really well. Um, but I'm just tinkering around. You know, we get into car projects, that's what happens. You tinker. So, um, what I'm doing now is fitting a. Well, let's see what the center housing is. Anyway, fitting a um, Mercedes uh, GT 2256V. This is a variable nozzle turbo. Here is the, or in the workbench, it's proverbially dirty. Um, so, variable nozzle, oil cool only. Uh, had to get a V-band for the outlets. And the discharge is a three inch as well, which I'll have to machine down flat, but um, it'll accept the V-band. Um, sorry to get a picture of it ahead of time, but on the Sprinter vans, which this comes off of, they used a really funky three bolt flange, really interesting inlet. And just to make life easier, I am actually welding up a uh, just a basic T3 flange on there right now. That is a stainless um, stainless flange, stainless center right here. Um, just right now, I'm just setting it up. Of course, you can see the veins in there right now. Now, one of the things you're probably going to ask is how on earth are you going to control the veins uh, using uh, without using an electronic actuator? Well, funny you should mention that. I don't know if you remember one of the videos I had. Where I was using a VNT25, which came off of the, uh, let me think, the the shadows, uh, etc. Um, this is actually the wastegate that was off of that. Now, what's different? It's not a regular dual port. This is a pressure port. This is a vacuum port. What happens is when vacuum was applied to this, um, the actuator would actually move out. So there's a seal here and a seal here boost so what would happen was when the car was off boost um, the vacuum would be applied here it push the veins open very simple and as you start you know cracking the throttle the veins would start closing the turbo would start spooling up now when you wide open throttle that's going to completely close the veins the veins are going to go you know the turbo is going to spool up real quick then what's going to happen is build a boost to control the boost it just acts like a regular wastegate boost goes on this side pushes the actuator open the veins start opening up, slowing the, the turbine down. Now you've got boost regulation, okay? Really simple concept, right? So I had a, a regular T3 um, wastegate laying around, and I'm like, huh, that looks painfully similar when you look at the top of it. So what I did was actually just drill a hole in the bottom underneath the diaphragm, put a vacuum source to it. What do you know? The gate, actually, it actually pulled it open. Um, I actually have a video of that on working on the car. It was actually kind of neat. Uh, when I welded this bung on, like a dummy, I didn't pull the, the diaphragm out, so I wound up burning a hole in that. I had a spare and uh, put it on. So basically this is now this. I know it looks really bad, but oh well, it works. So this is, I think, a five pound spring in there. I can adjust that with a, a boost controller. Um, the other thing too, this is how you adjust the, the veins being open or closed on the, um, like kind of like the presetting because you don't want the thing putting five pounds of boost in it idle which it theoretically can do but we're not going to have that on this engine it's not a race engine <laughs> yet um so anyway that's what's going on uh like i said it is a three inch three inch down pipe so this is the piece i get all my stuff from uh mandra ben solutions out of maryland uh, they do a lot of good work and prices are really good so this is going to replace the two and a half inch uh, v-band down so that's the project